Panels must be thoroughly inspected upon receipt for damage or visible defects. The panels are supplied with a protective clear film to both the decorative face and the painted face. This should be peeled back to check for damage or discrepancies in colour, then replaced to provide protection during installation. Before you undertake any type of installation, it is always wise to carry out a degree of planning that will save you time later on. Maintain the integrity of the polycoat as much as possible until installation is finished. Acrylic panels must be fitted to a continuous surface such as plasterboard, existing tiling, chipboard and plywood sheathing and tile backers provided the surface is sound, plumb and level. The acrylic panels can be cut either using a circular saw, jigsaw or router as shown. Whichever method is used, it is essential that the panel is face upwards, well supported and clamped in place to prevent chattering. Dry fitting should always be carried out before adhesive application. Apply the adhesive in a minimum of 7mm diameter beads in vertical lines 100mm apart. Also ensure that the beads are applied around cutouts. Remove the clear protective film from the back of the panel to expose the painted surface before bonding. Apply the panel to the wall within 30 minutes of adhesive application and using a straight edge apply even pressure to the surface to ensure a uniform finish. A 3-4mm to four millimeter gap must be left between the bottom of the panel and top of the shower tray or bath. This can be achieved by using packers when fixing panels. A clearance gap of 2-3mm to three all around should be allowed where pipes or fittings come through the panel, even where collars are to be fitted. This gap should then be fitted with sealant, as shown. Repeat these steps for the next panel. As shown here, the bottom gap should be sealed ensuring that the silicon is forced into the void. The panels can easily be kept clean with warm water and a very mild detergent. Under no circumstance should you clean your panels with an abrasive cleaner or any other abrasive material.